Hello there, everyone. This is Mark Brightside, and uh, with me today again is... Uh, Al Batty or Prison Flats or whatever. This guy. Yeah, he's eating pizza, so if you hear slurping noises, it's not blowjobs, it's him eating that. It could be blowjobs. Well, it could be, but no, it'd probably no. sound a bit happier. I'm not playing it fast, sure. Well, not with your performance. Um, but anyway, hey, this I'm is... Great. Uh, I'm great. Don't question my skills. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is Cool Spot, developed by Virgin Media for the second Genesis. And in this game, you play as the red spot from the 7-Up logo. Awesome! Wearing sunglasses because he's a cool dude. This is because I made you play a game about m and Oh it? yeah, I like to call this game Let's Fuck Martin in the Arse. <laughs> to be honest, you could do that without playing a game. Good point. Anyway, yeah. So, uh... In this game, uh, you are Cool Spot, and you are out to rescue the other Cool Spots, who have been kidnapped by... We don't know. <laughs> They've been kidnapped. Fucking deal with it. I suppose that works. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, and you can jump, you can shoot soda bubbles, and that's about it. And this game sometimes has pretensions to being funny, like I hit this crab, and he runs around in his boxers, because that's oh. hilarious. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I know, right? Comedy well, gold. I don't seem like you thought I'd be tortured by this game, to be honest. Oh, you will... Pretty you'll... amusing. It's... You'll, you'll see, trust me, this, this game gets... It's fucking horrible. Yeah, this game gets borderline atrocious later on, and believe me, this 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 will be an adventure for both oh, of us. Oh, Jesus, I look at the time of the recording. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, effectively, your goal in this game is to uh, collect these red coin things. I think the game calls them dots, I don't really know what else you call them. They're, they're dots, fucking live with it. They're fucking red coin disc things. Yeah, those things. Mm -hmm. Um... And you have to collect at least 60 to clear the level. There's 100 in every level. If you collect 85, you get to go to a bonus level. If you collect 100, oh. you get absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like Tarzan, then. Uh, it's a bit like every game I've made you play cross together. Y yeah, a little <laughs> bit, yeah. This is kind of, um... This is like the Breaking Bad of our Let's Plays. <laughs> I'm but, just gonna go ahead and start drinking again. Oh yeah, no, I, I can... I don't blame you at all. If anyone watching this, I'm going to get slightly pissed by the end of the night. But anyway, yeah, cool spot! Woohoo! At this point, music started to piss me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame me? No. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, at this, uh, I was... Jumping on balloons, that's horrific. Okay, yeah, there's, um, when he jumps on these balloons, like, it's a lot more finicky than it... Look how many fucking enemies are on mm. the screen, by the way. This game gets a lot harder than it should get, considering it's a cash-in game about, about fucking 7-Up. Mm. But jumping on these balloons is borderline atrocious, because any way to... Any way that you jump on the balloon, he's got about a 1 in 4 chance of actually grabbing hold of the string. Oh, uh, wonderful. Yeah, so, and there's one point later on where you'll see it. Um, I 100% the first level just to show that you don't really get anything for it. Mm. Um, and there's one point where I'll point that out and it just gets so annoying. Why are there so many fucking baddies? <laughs> yeah, this game has you kill a lot of enemies. And these crabs are really annoying because, um, well, both of them. The hermit crabs, their shell deflects your shot. Look how many fucking enemies are on screen. No, that's... But the worst enemy by far in any level of this game, I'm almost dead by the way, mm. is um, the flying enemies. Uh, see, I just got 60 discs so I can go and get the cage if I want to now, but no, I'm going to 100% it. Uh, the flying enemies though are just absolutely horrific because what they do is, um, in this level they come in, fly on screen, and they kind of sway from left to right and fire at you occasionally, so they're not yeah. that bad. But in level two, they come on screen and then immediately kamikaze into you. And Wonderful. it's yeah, it's so hard to avoid. And Cool Spot moves in this really weird way. He jump if you jump upwards, he moves almost perfectly vertically. He doesn't really get any distance from it. But if you jump forwards, he he fucking like pole vaults his way forwards. Uh. And the way he moves is a bit weird as well, because he walks extremely slowly. I'm really hating his walking animation. Yeah. It is. That is the walking animation. And I get hit here and I die. Um, Good. So I go back to the checkpoint. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but when he walks, he walks extremely slowly for a while, and then when you cross a certain distance, he accelerates to like Mach 10. <laughs> and the majority of the levels in this game are mazes. So trying to control someone... Uh, who... Not mazes! Oh yeah, mazes. Fuck you! <laughs> oh yes! Oh. 
Uh, trying to control a character whose speed goes from snail's pace to like Mach 10 in a maze is absolutely Mach horrific. 10? Mach 10, lad. <laughs> <laughs> to um, be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting on our uh, farmer's voice, let's play. <laughs> uh, when we get bored enough in uh, Breakout. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the, um, the, the cage I'm looking for is actually up there to the top right, and I could go get it now, but I just wanted, um, yeah, I wanted to get 85 to get the bonus level, and then just get 100 to show you that there's not really any reason to do it. At the end of a level, um, you get graded based on how much time you took, and if you got there quick enough, you don't need 100% to get the, um, the extra life, so it's kind of redundant. Mm. And here I'm just showing you, you completely um, buttfuck that slide by doing, uh, do I do it here? No, I'll do it later on. But yeah, you can just keep jumping up that slide and you'll get up there pretty quickly. Look how fast he's moving! He's a douchebag he is. Oh yeah, he's a fucking obnoxious character. I don't like 7-Up. I, I don't like 7-Up either. And by the way, all the cool spots that you're trying to rescue look exactly like him. They're the same fucking character model. They didn't even change them at all. A piece of shit. Yeah, I know. This breakout changed something. And at this point, I get here and I've got 98% and I'm like, okay, fuck this. So I need to go back through the level <laughs> <laughs> and start looking for more of these fucking things. And... I actually picked up the 99th one later on in this without knowing where I got it from. I just got it. But you see, there's that one yeah. coin hanging in the middle there. And the balloon that it's attached to is oh my God. too low to see from the balloons above it and too high to see from the ground. Oh my so God. you have to get to the balloons above it and then just drop and hope that you grab it. Uh, so yeah, I was doing this for a while. I, I hate that <clears> kind of gameplay. That's yeah, it, so... it's, it's horrible. And like, see, it's somewhere below me here, but I, I can't see where it is. There's no way to see. So I just have to drop and hope that I can get it. And I think, yeah. You're there's... failing to drop at the moment. <laughs> no, because I'm trying to, like, there it is, see, there. So I cut away a bit, and you can see the yeah. time has gone down. Um, I'm liking his falling animation, though. That's pretty nice. Oh, no, the falling animation can actually screw you over, because when he lands, if he lands from a high from a high place, he does this kind of face plant animation. Um, yeah. And if you land on a on a harmful object when he's doing that animation, he'll get hurt, and then he'll get up from his animation and then get, and then hurt, get hurt again. again. Yeah. Cool. But here I'm just showing you, look how fucking fast he can move through these levels. Like, Jesus Christ, cool spot, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's all right, rather than slowly meandering through them. Yeah, it is, but the problem is because <laughs> most of these... Uh, <laughs> Most of the levels in this game are um, mazes, so trying to navigate at that kind of speed in a maze is just absolutely horrendous. Seeing seeing these kinds of games um, through various Let's Plays, not just yours, um, seeing these kinds of games makes me happy that I started gaming in the late 90s. Yeah, but here, yeah, see, we've, uh, we've rescued the other cool spot who looks exactly the same as us. Uh, but yeah, it grades you in the end, and like if you have enough, you can get up there and reach that extra life. So, and trust me, you will need yeah. the extra lives because I'm, uh, for the most part, I'm not safe staying here. I will explain when I'm safe staying. But uh, here's a bonus level, and it has the only good song in the entire game. Wow! Because it reminds me of um, Battle Toads. Literally the only good musical track in this game. This game has <laughs> horrible music. Uh, but your goal in every bonus level is to get to the top of the screen and collect a letter. Uh, the first oh. letter. Ah, sound effect. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> the first letter you get at the top of the screen is U. And can you guess, uh, there are seven levels in the game, I think, seven or eight. Can you guess what the word is, starting with U? Is it, is it, is it up seven? No, it's Uncola. Un- <laughs> <laughs> Uncola. Brilliant. Uh, and if you're playing um, the PAL version, which I'm not because I'm using an American emulator, uh, yeah. it just says Virgin. I prefer Uncola because that's funnier. To be honest, Virgin is more apt for people playing this. Well, yeah. So where the fuck am I playing it? Jesus. Well, when you started playing it. Well, when I started playing it, I was nine. Uh, that's probably <laughs> Although, a good be, thing then. <laughs> to be fair, growing up in Croydon, I mean, uh, yeah. these things happen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you can see, I'm almost out of time. The timer in these in this game will be your worst enemy because in the first level, funnily enough, out of all the levels in this game, the one with the strictest time limit is the first level because it mm. gives you five minutes, but that's just not enough. Anyway, I collect the clock here and owl sound effect. Yeah, wonderful. Slightly painful. And I get a few extra seconds. And you see, I've got 99% at the moment, and I've got 27 seconds to get to get the last one. Oh like, no, the the tension. Well, it's like, I, I'm going to be honest with you, until I recorded this, I'd never 100%ed the bonus level in my life. 
So I see this 99% and I'm like, okay, where oh. is it? Where is it? Don't cock this up. There it is. Please grab it. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Beat your childhood <laughs> demons. Beat your childhood demons. Daddy did love you. There we go. Finally get it. I'm liking your little uh, shout out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's uh, the first letter of Uncola. And I guess you want it to continue, so if you lose all your lives, you can just start back where you are instead of going all the way to the beginning. Because this is one of those games where if you use up all your lives and all your continues, you're going uh, straight back right, to the title screen. This is one of those games. Again, another reason why I like being a late 90s gamer. Yeah. Anyway, here's a uh, level 2, which is one of the worst levels in the game, and they can <laughs> put it to you straight away. You love in the horrible background, uh, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's great. Okay, the main issue with this level, and actually the level after this, you just saw there. Cruel Spot does not like to grab onto these ropes. No. The problem is, oh. yeah, like that, I just went straight through it. His hitbox in this game actually changes. Um, oh, nice. Like, if you're on the ground, his hitbox is absolutely enormous, so you get hit by things that are barely even near you. But, you know, if you collect a bottle of 7-up, you get extra health. Um, but the problem is, if you're in the air, his hitbox shrinks. So trying oh. to collect or grab anything in the air is... Absolutely horrific. This game is such a piece of... Why did Sega make <coughs> this piece of shite? The biggest problem with this game's controls... Oh yeah, by the way, um, hang on, I'm gonna show you a meaningless fuck you. But, so we've been dropping down through this maze so far, we carry on, and then fuck you, you die! <laughs> I hate that so much. To be fair, you did reach the bottom of the boat. Well, it's still like, there's no indication that that's a death pit at all. There's nothing that tells you that is a death pit, and they do that about three times in this level. Oh, so. great. Yeah, it's horrible. I... But the, um, the biggest problem with this game is you can aim diagonally um, by, you know, just holding yeah. up in whatever direction. Um, but he still moves forward. There's no way to aim diagonally without moving forward. Oh, great. And th in this level, that is a huge problem. Same like, if you're on a rope and there's an mm. enemy below you, if you can't shoot straight down because he will move down and he will land on top of the enemy. Oh. And you'll see that later on. But Oh, th look, dive bombing flying thing. Oh, here we go. Yep, the kamikaze flies. But the really stupid thing in this game is that it only uses two of the three buttons on the controller. So what would have mm. fixed this game is to have the third button lock you into place and, you know, keep you standing still and from there you can aim in any direction you want. That would yeah. have salvaged this game. That would have made this game a lot more playable than it is. It wouldn't have been good, it would have been boring, but... This game is such a piece of shite. Oh, it is a piece of shite. It's absolute... See, look, I can't hit this crab because, look, look at this. I love... I love how we both had obnoxious caching games in our childhoods. Oh yeah, I liked this when I was a kid, I don't know why. And by the way, that's another death pit. See, I, sa mm. I saved State of Day just in case I didn't make that jump, because his yeah. jumping is absolutely horrific. That's the only time I saved State in this level, though. I've just I did that one there because I could not be bothered. I know. I thought, if I'm going to die, I'm at least going to get killed by an enemy. I mean, I'm not just going to... I hate how quickly he goes into like his little... like. You're not playing, so I'll do some random shit. Yeah, his, his idle animation is absolutely obnoxious. It doesn't affect gameplay at all, but it's just so annoying. He goes into it so quickly as well. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Give me a chance, cool spot, fuck's sake. <laughs> just gonna say right now, I was attempting to 100% this level, but I, I don't end up getting it in the end, so it's uh, a bit of a wasted effort. Mm, I'm disappointed. Uh, are you noticing uh, that most of this level looks exactly the fucking uh -huh. same? I land on the sea urchin there. <laughs> Yeah. Most of this level is the same, like, this and level 3 are both mazes, and the annoying thing is those flies can just pass straight through those wooden yeah. beams. Yeah, I love how the flies and your, like, bolts yeah. just clip through everything. Bolts. Yeah, it took me a while to realise it was actually shooting soda bubbles, I didn't get that at first, just, I, I don't know what they were, just yeah. video game bullets, whatever. This level is absolutely huge. Like you can see, I've only got thirty-two percent, so I'm not. Mm. I'm only just over halfway to getting the cage. Never mind the bonus level. But getting these ones is annoying because, yeah, like that. I mean, I, I got a first try there, but you'll get to see some annoyance for that later on. These fucking flies can get away from me. At this point, I'm, I'm thinking: Do I want to go for the health potion, or do I want to avoid the crab? <laughs> and I get hit anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. This game is actually making me depressed. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> it's miserable, isn't it? It's and this was no, what no, it... it's depressing me simply because well I I like I like how you can uh, play games like this and somehow there'll be more watch than mine. <laughs> 
<laughs> the worrying thing is actually, like, just out of morbid curiosity, I kind of looked online a bit. Like, I typed in cool spot into DeviantArt, and people liked this character. Like, there's a worrying amount of fan art dedicated to cool spot. There and, shouldn't be. And that's really. I like how you disappear as well when you get hit. Oh, yeah, you just. There's not even a flash, you just completely disappear. <laughs> I'm running, oh, running away oh, from God. God. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> Oh dear, but yeah, in case you don't know, um, uh, in the, I think it was either early 90s or late 80s, uh, the 7-Up mascot was um, a character called Fido Dido, which was like this generic little cartoony man, uh, but when uh, they got bored of him and stopped using him, they Americanized it, took the red spot from the 7-Up logo and gave him uh... sunglasses and arms and... You know, it, it was early 90s, it was that kind of radical time when... Rad, man. <laughs> it's so rad, dude. So cute. <laughs> cool. It was that kind of time when everything had to be cool or extreme. It was the mm. Sonic the Hedgehog phase, as I like to call it. Which is a depressing phase in gaming we will never get over. Oh yeah, we're never gonna... Well, it's a depressing phase in life we're never gonna get over. We can still see remnants of it now. I know there's... Yeah, I died here. <laughs> yeah, you were trying to kill that fucking clam thing. Yeah. Another slightly annoying thing is, um... Well, in this game, your health is measured by that little, um, little mm. spot logo in the top left. The problem is, like, if you've taken one hit, the logo doesn't really change. <laughs> mm. And, like, when you're, t when you're two hits away from death, and when you're one hit away from death, the logo looks basically the same. So it's really hard to judge your health sometimes. Fucking die, a stupid clam. That is a piece of shit, man. Yeah, I don't get why they couldn't just have you, like, a, a health bar or... Just something a bit more readable than this. A bit more workable. Mm. Gotta how I managed to catch that rope there. Yeah, that's amazing. That Again, was. this is a thing, a problem of not using the third button. Why don't we just have the third button to be like the catch the rope button? Or something. There were so many things they could have done with that, but they just kept it at two buttons. I don't oh, see why. I'm gonna play on the rope now. And, uh. <laughs> This corner over here is absolutely fucking pointless. There's just two crabs there and nothing else. Wonderful! Yeah, thank you, game, for uh, making me go over there. <clears throat> and there's a part coming up soon where it just gets absolutely horrific because they're, um... I've seen absolutely a lot for some reason. Uh, but there's a part coming up... Something about your life? Mm. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's a bit coming up pretty soon where you go down a rope and I, I shit you not, five or six of those flies all just come pouring in and I die there as any normal person would. Mm. And it's just so horrible. Like, I remember hating that part when I was a kid just because you get to that bit in the level and especially if you've only got one or two hits left and you're like, oh, don't fuck this up, don't mm. fuck this up. God, the second level. Why, why would they put this so early on in the game? If, you're gonna, if you know your level sucks, if you've designed something yeah. like this... Because the background has not changed. The environment has not changed. We're doing the same fucking thing. Over I and just over. Like, everyone's attacks can clip through the scenery. Oh, yeah, of course. The scenery is just completely intangible. So stupid. The sound effects in this game are horrible as well. So, finally, I get a checkpoint. I will give this game credit for one thing, the, the checkpoints are... I love the little checkpoint music as well. Yeah, the little... Whatever it is. Um, the checkpoints, like, there are, are usually a few checkpoints, there's usually about four in every level, so at least... They Although, kind of make up for the constant death. But... Although this game has already committed a cardinal sin. Which is having a time limit. Well, yeah. Fucking hate games with a time limit. The, the time limit in this level is probably the least inoffensive. Um, but the, the worst yeah. example of the time limit is actually in level 1, just because they don't really give you that much time to get everything. If you just want to do the level normally, then that's yeah. fine. But if you want to 100% it, then that's a different matter. It's like, um, do you have to, like, is there like a specific end point you have to get to? Or you just set loose in the level? Uh, yes, there is an end point, and it usually... The levels are mostly, you start in the bottom left and work your way to the upper mm. right. It's that kind of game. Uh, Alright, here's the point coming up with a fly. So I'm trying to like, find any way to get rid of this fly. So you have to be so careful in this game. There we go, I finally get yeah. rid of it. I go down here, and there's um, a very another fly. There's a very small platform with a crab on it, so I can't really land there, otherwise I'll get hit. And I've only got one hit left before I die. So I land down here, another fly. Uh, I have a look down. Do, is there another fly? Yeah, one, another fly. Oh my god. And I die. And I'm back to the checkpoint again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. Uh, yeah, I'm not save state scumming in this one, so... 
If I game over, then I'm just gonna say I will save Space Scum to get back to where I was. And at this point, yeah, didn't know that was a death pit. Uh. Oh. There's nothing, again, nothing indicates what's a death pit and what isn't. It's just because you're constantly either going up or going down in the level. So you reach the bottom of the yeah. stage and you're going to keep going because that's that's what the level's trained you to do. It's, it's such a bad thing. And at this point, I clip straight through the fucking platform and go into the... Yeah. <sighs> this game is just... Yeah. And at this point, I'm, you're going to see me hesitating a bit from now on, and that's me internally going, oh, don't screw this up, because I've got no lives left, so if I yeah. die, then I have to use up that continue, and I'm going to need that continue for level 4, because level 4 is horrific. You you are going to hate level 4. Oh, I'm already depressed watching this. Oh, yeah, it's it's brilliant game, this is. Yeah, I ended up getting 98, which was agonizing, mm. but the time bonus let me get the extra life anyway, so it didn't really matter that much. By the way, there is no story whatsoever. Your friends have been kidnapped. Why? Oh, we don't know. Whatever. Yeah, we don't know. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? They're all your clones, anyway. <laughs> They're in cages. All your brothers in arms are in cages, whatever. That's, that's an irritating sound. Yeah, this game has horrific sound effects. ka -ching! Yeah, I got the extra life. That's really all I care about. Uh, as long as I get to the bonus level, then I'm okay. I, I'm just going to... Like, in future, either cut out all of or most of the bonus levels. You see, I'm gonna leave in a few seconds here, and then, yeah, just cut to yeah. it. Yeah. I love how, I love how 100 doesn't give you anything. It's yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't They all. just run out of ideas. The only time 100 gives you something is in the bonus levels. Like, you need 100 to get the extra life. But, aside from that, yeah, if you're just in a regular level, you don't need 100. And again, I finished this with 98. Actually, no, I finished this with 99, so it's even more annoying. <laughs> Oh, this game has pretensions. Why did the alarm clock fart? This game has pretensions to being funny. Oh, believe me, there's uh, some cringy moments later on. But look, I get to, oh, to collect the one up. You're a piece anyway, of shit, man. that's enough for this game for now. <laughs> Bye. Fuck you.